It's nice to chat with you today, Jay. How you doing, Andrew? You too. Good. The thing I love about this episode, the the whole four horsemen, you know, storyline is so unique, especially with this whole drug sh- smuggling kind of angle. Uh what was this episode like to uh to work through? Well, we're we're, we're dealing with uh with avocados and uh smuggling and no, it was, it was as always. We it, we we get a script, we look and we say what's the what is the monster of the episode? What is the what's the uh target? What are we doing? So I, it was that was one that was it was just at the end of the, the everything out here being really hot. So it was it was our it was um a very physical episode but a lot of fun yeah and there's there's quite a bit of action including you know the the car chase and everything else in terms of you know playing playing him this season has there been something that stood out for you about uh about the character this season yeah we get to um you know without as i love how they do without leaning too much into something um we get a little understanding of where where deacon gets his faith um and you know why it's so strong and it's it's a it's something that happened to him you know 25 years ago and then we we learn about it and uh talk about it and, and it applies to the story um that's existing in present day so it's a, it was a I, I just love when they said we, we're trying to figure out a, a way to incorporate how you know what made you why are you the way you are so um it, it's yeah you know that one's coming up i'm, I'm looking forward to that I I loved his conversation with his son about the the bullying and oh, and that whole like how he was viewed uh, you know well maybe not how he was viewed but how the view that affected him from school uh you know what was that scene like to to play through uh, yeah it was uh, the kid Colin was extraordinary first of all and uh you know you always wonder that there was a big scene and I think we just recast um, him because the other kid is not doing this anymore. So we, we, it's a new kid and I'm thinking, Oh boy, well, here we go. But I walk in and he was a total pro um, and he was so give and take with me that um, I just ended up talking to him and, and, and really it's something that I'd asked the writing team about last year. One of these times in between seasons was, can we make sure that we address in some way, shape or form, with my children, how that affected them um, of getting shot up at, at home. I mean, that's how traumatic that is. So there's got to be some kind of, if, if you're going to play that I've had some issues dealing with, with mental health, then how could that not have affected our family in some way, in a negative way? So they, so they do. And, and that's, you know, I, I love that, that that was called back. And I love too the fact that it's it's calling out that sometimes bullying actually comes from trauma and and distress. Sure. Um, yeah, and and you know, not having kids. I was saying this earlier. I don't have children, but I I remember being a child. I remember having things happen and, and being spoken to by my my folks, and so I just sort of try to apply it. You know how, how my dad talked to me stern but as you move between these kind of these episodes and you know what kind of prep worker are you all doing behind the scenes what what does it take to get through from you know a mid-season finale to to the the premiere episode um a lot of stretching and a lot of rest (laughs) um we you know it's a machine and that's why you know forgive me for for being when you're asking me a question about that one sometimes we shoot two at a time and it's right. There'll be moments of, you know, so you do have to keep your head about you with with um certainly story. Unfortunately, we don't have too many huge spoilers of characters or things that are gonna intertwine. But sometimes when you're coming in, you're like, and I remember I I heard this Alice and Janney said this once about um I was sitting at a table at some event that she was at, and someone asked her about the West Wing, how they how do they do it? And she said, sometimes they would block shoot because they would be doing these long walks and they would just shoot a lot of different scenes from different days because they were going that way. And we've do we similar stuff, but she said, all oh, it gets to the point where she says, what color lipstick am I wearing? And am I happy or sad? <laughs> because sometimes you can't keep your, your head straight up. You know, you're like, where am I? What am I supposed to be doing? Okay, good. Got it. <laughs> well, and 
the other side of that is, you know, the demands of the role. There's there's a fair bit of action. Obviously, you're not doing all that action, but you know what what are those demands like? Do you do you often find some of that? Is it tiring? Is it exhilarating? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah, what's it I like? mean, we had an episode that just aired. Actually, there was a sequence where. We come out of a house, we notice the guy in the car, he comes driving at us and then we shoot and we run after him. I noticed because you, and you wouldn't, but my brother does a lot of my uh, my double work, not my necessarily big oh, stuff. Really? Yeah, so he and Khalid who, who doubles for Shamar, when they showed us from behind running at the car, that was actually Khalid and my brother. And then when they came back around, so he'll take some of that weight off for me. But um, our technical advisor, Odie, will, be honest about come on let's we're going again you know when we have to do another take of coming up to the house or up the stairs or something again again and i've one time said to him hey odie in real life when you guys um when you guys breach a house in real life how many times do you do it and he's like once he said, yeah. <laughs> and this is our 12th time so give us a break i can't imagine that's that that especially in the la heat i mean that's not a a, yeah. a great <laughs> temperature to do it at. Um, you know, I'm curious in terms of, you know, we're, we're talking about New Year a little. I, I was asking, you know, I, I, I'm curious if you have uh, any thoughts on, you know, starting a New Year. Do you have anything you're 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 setting goals for yourself? Oh, resolutions. Um, we're just talking resolutions, about resolutions, if you want to yeah. call them that. No, no I, I don't because I it's it's I've tried it and then I just don't follow through. So I, I try to think of that, you know what, I'm gonna, it's more of a daily sort of thing is is because it's just once a year, it's like going to confession. Like, what am I just, I'm, I'm good if I just do it once. So I just try to apply that all the time. Do you have a resolution for Deacon? Is there something you uh, you hope that he, he might learn in, in the new, new half of the season? Yeah, I want him to to, you know, have that security job put him over the edge financially so he can uh put the four kids in college maybe maybe get a procedure done so he doesn't risk having any more i don't know something <laughs> well thank you so much for the time i really appreciate it all right andrew thank you have a great day 